Hello again. I am back from Atlanta from the TYA USA National Festival and Conference. It was a pretty jam-packed week last week, uh, but a lot of really amazing stuff happening, and I thought I would just kind of give you some highlights of the week. So TYA USA, uh, as I explained in a couple videos ago, is a national organization that uh, theaters for young audiences can become members of, as well as individual artists who work in TYA can become members of, and this festival and conference was a national convening of people from all around the country coming together to watch some shows and to talk about pertinent issues to the field. I was able to meet my goal of making at least three meaningful connections. In fact, I felt like I made more than that. I met some folks who I would consider peers. There were folks who were at an earlier stage in their career, some who were in a later stage in their career. And it was just great to kind of be there talking about important issues related to theater for young audiences. Now it's called a festival and conference because the programming combined both uh, what you would find at a theater festival, which is a bunch of shows, whether they be productions or readings, with conference type programming, which would be like your keynote speech or your breakout sessions. The festival seemed to have a pretty large emphasis on what we call TVY, otherwise known as theater for the very young, and this is theater for ages maybe zero to five. Some of you might be thinking, well, you're a little baby, what kind of theater could be made for you? But I highly encourage anybody who has not seen a TVY show to take the time to do it. If you don't have a little one and you are a theater artist, you might just ask the theater company if it's okay that you can sit in because you want to observe what a TVY performance is like. But because of the age group that TVY focuses on, the performances tend to be very gentle in tone and somewhat pure. I don't know if that makes sense, but there isn't a hint of sarcasm or cynicism in these TVY performances because it's all about creating these magical environments for young ones to enjoy theater, whether that's through a actual linear story or just a theatrical experience. I would find myself very moved by this tone because as an adult, a lot of the theater and other media I engage with has kind of lost some of that purity. We would say that maybe it's matured, but in some ways a return to kind of this just pureness of a moment or a color or a sound or an animal is actually really beautiful. I think we as adults could benefit from more experiences like that. Something else that was really cool happening at this festival was uh, the author Jason Reynolds who is a young adult book writer, has had three of his books adapted into theatrical versions. And we got to see those three shows put up in some form, whether it was a production or a reading, at this festival. And it was really wonderful to see these stories that are about teens really kind of reflect a reality that teens face. And what's more, these are all stories uh, from the perspective of non-white teens. So to have more theater feature that moved away from a kind of white center and bringing other voices to the center was really wonderful to see. I highly recommend in particular the play or the book, which I haven't read, but the play Ghost. It follows a boy who uh, discovers that he has a knack for running and it does kind of follow a sports movie storyline to a degree but there's just something really charming about the lead character, Ghost, and the journey that he has to go through to kind of mature as well as heal from his past, and I highly recommend it. I also got to participate in a song slam, which is something that happened two years ago at the TYA conference when it was here, actually, in the San Francisco Bay Area. I sang a song from Gold, the Midas musical, as well as sang as an ensemble member for other songs. 
There were about 13 songs presented in the program, all from the TYA world of musical theater. It was really great to see each other's work and as well as sing some of each other's work. There was just a lot of good spirits in the room and the energy was amazing. And the Song Slam, even though it was a performance, was actually one of the breakout sessions, so maybe more in the world of the conference. So speaking of the conference side of things, this was definitely a time to uh, network, but also to really think about some important topics related to the field. The most impactful one for me was a keynote conversation uh, with Stephanie Ibarra and Jacob Padron, two artistic directors recently appointed one to the Long Wharf, I think that's Jacob, and um, Baltimore Center Stage, which is Stephanie's company, um, two POCs talking about fighting racism in the regional theater world. What I appreciated about them was they weren't pulling any punches, they laid it out there that there has been too much of a focus on white-centered storytelling in theater, and theater companies that proclaim that diversity is important to them in their mission or vision statements, those values aren't actually expressed when you look at the playwrights and the directors that they are putting into their seasons. So I think it was a great moment for people to reflect on what their programming is, what is their focus. We all kind of say we're for diversity, but do we actually mean that we're also for anti-racism and racism being a, a systemic thing? Uh, not necessarily the behaviors that one might call racist, but the systems that are in place that lead to racist practices. So, you know, really light stuff. But this was important to me and it really lit a fire under me as somebody who identifies as a POC and tries to write works that provide opportunities for POC actors to be seen on stage. I uh, am really excited about the things that we were talking about and thinking about and hope it just continues in the TYA field. And of course, there were a lot of other breakout sessions happening. I went to one about creating theater for children with autism because I have created a piece called Story Explorers that was touring to Bay Area schools and um, myself and Bay Area Children's Theater, the one who produced it, we've been kind of thinking what is the next evolution of this program? What could that look like? So it was encouraging to kind of talk with others who have been trying to do that kind of work across the country. So you can see the festival and conference was a time to kind of take in art as well as talk about art and you can see why I was so tired by the time Saturday came around for last week's vlog and I didn't have time to actually vlog while I was there. Yeah, all in all, it was a great time to meet people and uh, connect and reflect and be challenged. All of those good things you look for when you, when you go to a theater conference. And everything I encountered has definitely been on my mind since I've been back. And I've been back hitting the ground running because I have to get ready for a workshop in June. Uh, a reading, I think maybe two readings in June, as well as the TCG conference next in Miami. So doing what I can to stay focused, but also give myself some rest after an amazing conference. Uh, I forgot to mention, I am now a board member of TYA USA, and I think in a later video I will talk about that and what that's like and what led me to that decision to apply and what I'm looking forward to being a board member because it's something completely new to me. So yeah, so that's it. Uh, that's kind of a in a nutshell view of what happened at the festival and conference. If you have any thoughts, if you yourself were there and you want to leave a comment below sharing what you thought was amazing, please feel free to. Otherwise, I will see you all next week.